Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. To start another episode of the terrace garden, and that too with hydroponic system. You can see the current uh, garden with uh, around 400 uh, or approximately 500 square feet. So this all grown on coco peat, perlite, and peace moss. And this garden is approximately two and a half months now. So this started. Uh, with all seedlings and uh, let me start with the bitter gourd or bitter melon uh, cultivation so this is a pretty success out here you can see some of the growths on here you can see the comparison against the size of my palm and pretty nice growth these are some of the uh, tiny ones or we say Pretty lush green growth, and uh, you can see more of bitter melon out here. Here, nice, really growth. Some of them we have left it alone for the new seeds, and here are some of the more growths. So, this have been producing for almost three months by now, and uh, lovely, nice growth, bounty of harvest. And you can see some of the long beans out here now the long beans and these are almost four sorry two feet uh, in length so this is also a bounty growth you can see I can feel it and it's almost 50 grams each so lovely growth again you can see more of the long beans out here yes here are some of the more long beans pretty tangled good growth here are some of the more ready to harvest and everything is growing on the root system that is on the hydroponics that is uh, your peat moss your coir and perlite mixture so these are some of again the bitter guards now we are moving towards the cucumber plantation so you can see lovely nice lush green leaves with the cucumber hanging on you can compare it with the size of my palm good growth and let me see some of the these are some of the new seedlings or the new baby cucumbers in growth then we have some more cucumbers out here you can check it out yes so these are ready to harvest nice growth comparative to leaves uh, so comparative to the soil growth this is one and a half times a lot of new flowers there so hopeful that in two to three days we should get some more cucumbers and you can see this is on a terrace garden and we have some of the loofahs or you can say the ash guard or the bottle guards so a lot of flowers lovely flowers out there and we had many growths as well you can check it out there one of the ridge guard also growing alongside so hopefully some of the growths let's now check out for some of the ridge guard growths out here yes you can see so lots of ridge guards again these are on the same growing medium some more cucumbers out here this is a really big one yeah you can see some more in the growing phase some more ridge guards yes you can this is one of the medium one and this will grow for another two to three feet sorry almost two feet and I am getting some of the snake guards which are in tender stage right now this will grow pretty big up to three to four feet before ready to harvest let's talk about some of the new growths so these are the cherry tomatoes which I tried for the first time here you can see the cherry tomatoes have already started 
and this is very bushy difficult to water sometime a lot of many them so the entire row of cherry tomatoes doing pretty good and these grow almost 30 feet so let's see still in fancy you can see some more cherry tomatoes I couldn't believe that this will be growing in such a tropical humid climate but it is doing pretty good so far and this is uh, the lettuce finger or the okra plantation you can see I can show you the entire row in that and some of the ladies fingers budding out you can see here nice big flowers and the stem is much more thicker than the counterpart that grows on the normal soil so expecting a good harvest in future oh since the growing medium is much lighter and it's windy out here some of the plants sometimes get toppled so we have to take care and um, these are my bell peppers so bell peppers doing good some of the fruits have come out here yes these are some of the fruits and some more bell peppers fruits out here yes you can check so it's an in fancy so like this is one of the big one that has grown so almost 10 bell peppers already in growth going going good and some more bell peppers out here you can check out two big one three big ones in fact yes you can see three big so these are doing pretty well and I have been using good nutrients and solution and the growth so far is very satisfactory I'm happy with it so far the success rate is good and uh, now I want to show you some of my plantation that is done on the soil as well again on the terrace system so you can see the tomatoes out here I just pruned all the bad leaves the dead leaves so that I have more energy for the fruit production and these are some of the tomatoes this is going pretty big if you want to see the size of the tomatoes I get the size of my palm so these are pretty good growing and as I was talking this is one of the okra plant that is on the soil system which is you can see the size of the root of the stem not that stout as in the cocoa peat yes and this is really one big thing you can see size of my palm against the leaves out here so these are some of the Malabar spinach it's very thick very luscious very much like plastic and this is doing well these are more tomatoes yes more and more of tomatoes doing well a lot of tomatoes these are more Malabar spinach just printed it's time to water I'm going to water yes some more Malabar spinach out here some more thyme and these are the seed saplings that are ready to be transplanted I'm going to do transplantation in short time some more rich guards and some of the long guards so it's doing pretty well so one more time you can see the panoramic view of the terrace garden and I'll be posting new videos in recent time I'll make a video on the nutrient solutions that I have been using and you can check it out in my next video thank you for watching